Attending school every day really matters. When students miss school, they miss out on learning, which can have lasting effects from grade to grade and hurt their chances to graduate. With about 8 million students nationwide missing significant numbers of school days each year, absenteeism is no small problem. Fortunately, it's a problem we can address by joining together as families, schools, and communities to make sure that students are present and accounted for every day. Students are considered chronically absent when they miss 10% or more of school days for any reason, whether their absence is excused by a parent or guardian or unexcused. That 10% is just two days a month. There's a lot of evidence showing that when absences add up, student achievement goes down. For example, chronically absent preschool and kindergarten students are academically and developmentally behind their classmates who attend school regularly. By third grade, chronically absent students have lower reading and math achievement, signaling academic problems ahead. Being chronically absent in sixth grade raises the likelihood of not graduating from high school, and students are seven times more likely to drop out if they are chronically absent even just one year between eighth and twelfth grade. It's also worrying that chronic absence is so widespread. Nationwide, about one in seven students is chronically absent. In California, one of every 10 students is chronically absent, and in many communities, the rate is even higher. These rates also vary by grade level. Absenteeism is typically high in kindergarten, dips in the elementary grades, and then increases from the middle grades up, peaking in high school. To better understand the causes and consequences of missing school, let's meet two students, Ricky and Crystal, who are like many students we know. Ricky loves school. Every day, he arrives on time and ready to participate. Crystal likes school too, but like her siblings, she has missed so many days this year that she's dropped behind in her learning and also feels left out socially. Some of the common reasons students like Crystal miss school are problems with transportation, housing, or health, being bullied, or feeling discouraged about academic struggles. In some cases, parents or students themselves don't realize how important daily attendance is to school success. While Ricky is on track to move up through the grades and earn a high school diploma, Crystal's multiple absences have caused a number of setbacks. She struggles with reading and has fallen behind her classmates, which affects her attitude and behavior at school, resulting in school office visits and causing her to miss even more class time. It's also caused her to lose out on recess and some other activities she likes, further separating her from classmates. By being chronically absent this year, Crystal is headed for more academic trouble in years to come. Chronically absent students need help in avoiding the barriers that can limit school attendance. And schools are using a number of promising practices to boost attendance for students like Crystal. Here in California's Central Valley, Kerman Unified School District is making a difference by using data to monitor absenteeism, building a culture that promotes attendance, engaging parents, taking care of students' needs, and working with partners like its school-based health center. A few years ago, we uh, weren't really happy with uh, the rate of our attendance, uh, percentage-wise. And so one of the things we wanted to look at in our district is to increase that average daily attendance. So we, we kind of brainstormed with our staff, with principals, you know, what were, what were some ways that we could do that. We're trying to be more strategic now, really, again, looking at students that are chronically absent and identifying those kids. Research shows that students who miss a lot of school struggle in reading and, that, and could lead to high dropout rates. Reducing chronic absence starts with data to identify which students have so many absences that they need some form of intervention. One of the things that we, we really have been trying to do is really looking at data. Number one, identifying those kids that are chronically absent. Principals know who they are, um, the teachers know who they are, uh, and really just flagging. It's something that we've really never done is, I mean, e even the term chronically absent uh, student is, is a fairly new term. As a staff, it's important for us to keep track of our chronic absenteeism and our students who are not coming to school. And so we gathered the data. I share it in the bulletins. I share it at staff meetings. The teachers have a list. And so when those students are not here, they make phone calls. And then we try and find a solution if they have a problem for not being here. For some students, attending school every day is challenging. 
giving consistent messages about the importance of attendance and providing supportive interventions are key to reducing chronic absence. We're all about building a culture of attendance because we know that attendance is very important and we need to start at the beginning so it grows with them. Every student at our school knows what our attendance goal is. They will tell you that it is 97% and they know that it matters to us and it matters to them. And if we make our goal, we do a one minute dance. The kids love it. We also have pizza parties for a class that has perfect attendance for 10 days in a row, which is really hard. Excuse the interruption, but we have met our attendance goal for today. We are at 97.12%, which is our goal of 97%. So congratulations, we know attendance is important. So here is your one minute dance. It's our dance party. Find a friend. And we want to have that culture that they know that we are aware of their attendance and we applaud them for being at school. So one of the things that we like to do is make sure that we have informed parents. And so we let them know at back to school night the importance of attendance. We also do a parent information night mid-year. And then we also do a kinder orientation for our incoming kinders because we know our kinders have about 35% of our chronic absenteeism. We also do some preventive education as well. We talk to them about simple things like hand washing. because we know that communicable diseases are transferred by touch. We understand kids come to school with different barriers. You know, if a kid's not in the seat, the kid's not learning. So ultimately our goal has been uh, working on programs, working with students um, to really relieve those barriers so they can be in the classroom and they can learn. Here we partner with agencies to reduce barriers, help uh, students get food, clothes, school supplies, help with their homework, whatever it takes. We also work closely with the families to educate them about the importance of uh, daily attendance and about the resources and programs to support them. You know, if we can alleviate a lot of these issues early on in life in, in kindergarten, first, second, third grade, it'll make a difference um, throughout through the rest of their life as they get older in middle school and high school. Some of the solutions that we have come up with is we work in partnership. We do have a school-based health center that is located on our campus, which has been a big help. Valley Health Team is here to support the community as a whole. We work closely with the school district to make sure that we are a safety net for all of the students here. In this exam room, we'll, our providers will see students um, and kids from the community um, for wild child visits, sports physicals, hearing and vision screenings, uh, as well as many other services. Our behavioral health suite is down the hall here, and we can see students who come in who might have experienced some trauma or who just need someone to talk to. I love my school-based health clinic because they help me with my asthma. It makes me feel healthy. Our whole goal is to make sure our kiddos are healthy and ready to go back to school and learn, because if you're not there, you're not learning. At the school-based health center, we offer a wide variety of services from medical, dental, and even behavioral health. We are here to serve newborns all the way to adults. When children are at school, they can sometimes have accidents. We had a kiddo who fell down and hurt her arm, and she came in today with her mother, and we were able to take care of her and get her back to school. I think she's going to be just fine, okay? So we'll just clean it up, we'll put a little bit of antibiotic on it, and then give her a band-aid, okay. and we'll get her back to class. Everyone in the school community can help boost attendance and make a difference in the lives of students. Really, it takes a village to raise a child, and that's kind of the, that's kind of the angle that we take in Kerman Unified to make sure every, every student's successful. In our community, we're committed to the success of every student, and we partner to make sure that happens, and that starts with attendance every day at school. Our department works very hard to keep our students safe and in school every day. At my high school, every student matters. I'm part of a dream team where we focus on every individual student's needs by attendance to homework to just being there for them by support. Attendance matters every day. Attendance matters every day. Be a winner, be at school. We won. Attendance.
Attendance matters every day. of Education Sciences at the U.S. Department of Education. To learn more about RELWEST, West, please email relwest at wested.org or visit ies.ed.gov. For more information about local efforts to reduce chronic absence, please contact your local school district office or your child's school principal.